Hello everybody, welcome, my name is Ursa Ryan and today, well we're back with one of our favourite mod makers of the moment. We've played as Akan, we've played as Iceland and now we're going a little bit more retro, back to Tibet. That's right, Sukratakt, the maker of many amazing mods, previously made a mod that we, well we love on this channel, it's absolutely wonderful. You like playing with preserves? You like playing with mountains? Well, just like the Inca, Tibet is fantastic and has some really really fun and useful abilities especially into the mid game. It's been a few years since we played this mod and to be honest I had totally forgotten that it was one of Sukratak's. So when I realised that I thought yep we've just played a massive massive TSL game let's do something a little bit smaller a little bit more fun. Remember ladies and gentlemen Discord is the place to come because I have all of the mods you'll need to play this game as well as the save file that you can copy and paste on your computer and play along. A little bit different today because I am using the wonderful alternate cartography. Yes the wonderful map making script mod and and we are playing today, it doesn't say here, with a ridge map, which is effectively a map with a huge belt of mountains in the middle and very flat land on the coast. The idea being that Earth, the cylinder planet, has a ring around it, a little bit like Saturn for instance, and all of that material keeps falling onto the planet, but only in the equator. It's a really cool idea. So a strip of mountains in the middle, mountains. Remember mountains, mountains are fun with Tibet. Very fun. Honestly, I'll just explain it as we go. You want to play this game, Discord is the place to come. Ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in. Ignore the fact that there's coffee here. No, because you should be drinking tea when watching this video. It is required. Earl Grey? Lady Grey? Mistress Grey? All of the greys. That, that's what you should be drinking. I would suggest that you pour yourself 50 shades of grey. No, wait, hang on, that's different. All right, let, let's just get, let's get started. And now, for an important update. Having been expelled from Oxford University, Ursa Bear had met a man named Paul. Oh dear. Luckily for Ursa Bear, he had amassed 40,000 subscriptions. These beautiful little signatures attracted the attention of none other than Gilgabro, scared off by the majesty. Paul retreated and left Ursa Bear to his way. Searching for new subscriptions, Ursa Bear travelled to the coast, where lo and behold, it looked like more people, more people for subscriptions. Alas, it was not to be. Ursa Bear, our sweet innocent bear is now trapped, harassed by giant crabs. Will you save Ursa Bear from crabs? Will you help Ursa towards his goal? Thank you so much. Back to the video. Turn one and looking around me, guess what I've got? It's a Plains Hill. Ah, everyone's favorite starting location. And this is a lake as well. Mmm, fresh water. It's a bit like stale water, but crisp and clean. So a settlement in place is pretty good. I could move down to this tile. There is a river over here, but it's settling in place gives me access to plenty of two two tiles as well as some rice above me. I guess I could go and settle on the coffee. That's not a bad option. And to that extent, I'm gonna move my warrior over and have a little peek. Mm -hmm. No, I think settling in place is probably not a bad idea. There is a volcano directly above me. I'm just gonna pretend that doesn't exist because that's terrifying. <laughs> It's absolutely terrifying. Oh dear. Here we go. Here's the city. More tutu tiles. This is fine. We, we want to be settling really into the mountains, but the capital, capital doesn't need to be perfect. Now, why do I want to settle into the mountains? Well, we have Inca-like abilities, but a slightly different variation on them. Citizens can work mountain tiles. Mountain tiles receive yields from districts within two tiles. Now, this is the fun about Tibet. What I'm going to do is build a lot of districts around mountains. And as I do, I will paint a beautiful tap like a paint within the lines, paint the colours map where I put a, say for instance, a campus down. And within two tiles of that campus, all mountains have one science. And then theatre squares will give culture and holy sites will give faith. But even better, two food from city centres, so they even feed me. Now I can even work them, of course, citizens can work mountain tiles, so preserves work for them just like Inca. Lovely. I can also purchase buildings with faith in specialty districts next to mountains. This is is a very, very, very handy ability. I also receive 5% faith for each promotion a governor has. So lots of faith, lots of mountains, these are the things we're looking for. We have the Zong as well. A district unique to Tibet for religious activity. It replaces it, it's cheaper to build, it gives me a governor if I build it adjacent to at least four mountains. Now in practice that is very tricky.
tricky, even on this map, because four mountains, very unlikely to happen. But I might get a couple of spare governors over the course of the game. Buildings in the Zong district are 20% cheaper to purchase with gold and faith. So we can put the shrines and the temples in with faith if they are next to mountains and they're cheaper. I want to be stacking that ability later in the game with the beautiful theocracy government as well, because then we'll be rolling a 35% discount. Lovely. We get a cool Renaissance era ranged cavalry unit. I'm not really planning on getting domination today. Genghis, it was a lot of domination. There are two leaders to Tibet, weirdly enough, and we, we haven't played the military leader, and at some point I probably will. I just didn't fancy another domination game. I found it something a little bit different. Instead, in cities we founded, wonders and holy site buildings each gain a slot of writing. So books of writing, general books, everything. We, we just want anything that is by Beatrix Potter. That's effectively what this nation is about. Receive great writer points whenever a religious unit expends a charge outside friendly territory. So I also want to be sending religious units out. This is a tricky one because I want to both be buying religious units with my faith and then also buying buildings with my faith. So we just need lots of faith. You gotta have faith. We've got to George Michael this. So turn one, we're absolutely going to go and just unlock astrology as soon as we can. Go for a delicious scout start and let's see what we can find. Did I mention we're playing deity standard speed? I don't think I did. And I actually have some game modes on today. I haven't played with game modes at all this year really. And this is a game that I'm just going to have fun with. This is going to be a hilarious game. We're going to go really powerful. It's going to be a fantastic build. Barb clans, heroes and legends, secret societies modes. They're all good. They all improve the game. In my opinion, we should have a lot of fun. Now I've got to figure out whether the belt of mountains is directly above me or directly below me because I want to be settling along it as we go. I think it's going to be above me, but we'll see. I'm sure we'll see in all due course. Oh, there's a bit of a desert to my left, which isn't ideal. And a barb has appeared just now. Beautiful. In fact, let's have a quick look. Grey rat, grey rat. Ha ha ha. Okay, I think I might be able to intercept you here by moving my warrior in the way. Kamasi. Oh, trade routes. That's a little bit fun. Okay, well, we don't know which secret society we're going to go for today, except I do, because I probably am going to go void singers unless uh, something really fun pops up. But it's not going to stop me from going for everyone's favorite, Armani Tour. Mmm, smell of Armani. She's going to send herself straight to Kamasi and give myself a bit of visibility as well as some era score. Some delicious, delicious era score. And my, I'm just going to send my scout to the north really quickly. Yeah, as I thought, there is a little bit of squished land here. Never mind. This isn't the most perfect mountain start we ever could have wanted, but honestly, it's fine. Now, instead of going for two scouts, I'm actually going to go for a slinger and a scout because I sense this, yeah, this very cheeky little scout. Look at these cats. They're trouble. They're going to go back and alert this barb camp and we're going to have problems. I can just tell. So let's get a slinger up just in case. Yeah, look, there you go. It's already on its way, but my warrior's ready. You're going to have to run into me, Mr. Scout. Actually, Kamasi might deal with this barb camp for me a little bit, which is quite nice. Oh yeah, they're really going for it. I'll beat up the scout whilst battle happens then. Yep, Kamasi just took it straight out. Cool. Fair enough. Okay, well, I don't have such a problem then. Oh, we found Torre del Pane, and we've got Hippolyta. Lovely hermetic order. We're finding everything in Astrology Boost. Here is the wonder. Now, we really do want to go and settle near all of the mountains, so because of the way this map is formed, we're going to be sticking mainly to the equator. That is a really, really good wonder, though. Look at these tiles. That's tempting. Yeah, we may end up going to go and have a little bit of a peek in that direction. Here is Code of Laws. Let's go God King. Let's go Discipline. Yeah, I'm so disciplined. And we'll get that barb kill. Beautiful. Just to stop the scout running around killing builders in Gazagamu. Oh, that's useful. Again, I'm going to go and generate some era score by sending my envoy over. Go on, Armani. Continue your tour. I think I do also want to get a hero pretty quickly, but I've got a bit of time. Let's just put one turn into Sattler. Then I'll get my holy site up really quickly and we'll go from there. What's in the tribal village? Void singers. Beautiful. A masonry. Well, I do actually have a quarry here, so it's not as helpful as potentially it could be, but <laughs> what are you going to do? Four turns for my Zong. I can get a two faith one there. I have very little gold at the moment, so whilst there is a three faith tile up there, I'm just going to have to accept the fact that we're going to have to settle a little bit, I think. Yeah, plus three. That's fine. We'll we'll take the two. We'll get the era score. It's a really, really cool holy site. It adds a little mountain. It looks really pretty. Trust me, Tibet is just a wonderful nation on Civ 6. It's, it's beautiful. Let's find a source of horse. Animal husbandry. We shall become master of horse ceremonies. It'll be wonderful to see. We've also found Singapore, who have been met by somebody. Boo! Well, it means until we find an envoy, Armani Tour won't be able to help me too much more, but 
but that's fine. Bam. Four way risk score, unique district built, and Ngazagamu gives me two. And some Wakong is here as well. And we found a Barb Clan. It's all kicking off. It's all exciting. A shrine is 110 faith. Uh, I might wait until we can get that. I would like Thirst Religion. This is the thing. Anybody getting any profit points at the moment? No. So I'm going to finish the Settler, seeing as we've got a little bit of early production. Then I'll work some projects to pump this out. It looks like there's going to be some really good banana geothermal land up to my north. And some lake over here. I think maybe this wine would be a good place to build a second city. I don't know. At the moment, it could be could go either way. We keep finding new continents. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I don't need God King as much now. Urban planning will be lovely. Discipline is still good. Twins. That's a fun hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots of cool stuff. There's lots of cool stuff. And Barb Camp is not destroyed, but taken out. And I have the boost to archery. And actually, oh, when Gaza can move, move their units away from the Barb Camp. So maybe I can get my slinger in this turn. That could work out remarkably well for me. Did I get any source of horse? Anything? Eh, no. Just below me, but that doesn't really count. Never mind. All right. Well, I want plantations. I want irrigation at some point. Let's go pottery. And I'll try and unlock mysticism as fast as I can because I think preserves are going to be useful this game. Plus, I would like the envoy so I can try and continue Armani tour into Singapore. A tour of poor? Yes. Yes, that's what's happening here. Yeah, it worked. They just let me in. They just let me in. Oh, it's India. The nasty India that don't like neighbors. Oh, and they're directly north of me. Uh oh. This ain't good. This ain't good at all. I guess India and Tibet do share a border, do they? Ooh. I feel they do, or if they don't, it's at least very close. Ah, oh, well, we'll see. Disperse the clan. Earn some experience. Sanguine Pact. Have I discovered all four? I have. Look at that. Some games I can just barely discover anything. This time we got all four. That's that's pretty crazy. Now, how do I divert? Do I divert and just capture this pass so that India can't get through? It has no fresh water at all. It, like, none at all. But I guess I could aqueduct later, couldn't I? I think I do. I think I do, you know. It's it's really weird, but I, I wouldn't normally do this. I, I always say that. People always say that. Oh, I never normally do this. And then every every game I do it. But I'm going to start the Holy Site Prophet points now. The Holy Site prayers are going to get rocked through. Let's get our first Prophet. And we'll go from there. This warrior is just going to continue exploring amongst the map. Fertility rights. Ooh, interesting. That's an interesting choice. We don't mind that particularly. But now, here is a pantheon of my own. I'm going to go Earth Goddess because mountains are always breathtaking appeal. And I would like to get as silly mountains as I can in this game. It's just, it's not necessarily the best, but it is the most fun, I think, of all of the things that I could do. So we'll, we'll work with that. We'll see what we can do. Oh, there's actually a couple of spaces here that I could put my holy sites in order to get them to give me a spare governor. Now, this is the thing. This is the, the difficult decision we have to make because I could instead put a preserve down and then that would apply to all of the same mountain tiles. So it's going to be a bit of a choice, but I think making sure we get the holy sites down is very important. This is annoying. In Gaza Gamu, I need you to move. Please move. Oh my lord, please move. Please move. <laughs> They're <laughs> not moving. <laughs> I need to get through. I need to settle. Okay, it's not so urgent because I've actually got a scout blocking the pass that so India now can't get through. But I really, really would like to settle. Like, this is this is silly, okay? You're healed now. You're healed. So why don't we just back off? Move in the other direction, please. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Right, now what I need to do is I need to just guide myself through. So I'm going to leave my slinger on the tile that my settler will go to next. Yes, this works. How's my religion coming along? Okay, a couple more projects and we'll be there. Actually, here's Mr. Mysticism. Let's put an envoy into Singapore and move Armani on a little further. The tour continues. The tour must never end. And then the singer moves to that. There we go. We've guaranteed that we can get through now. That's awesome. Theodora, Byzantium. Oh, and no, she's full of salt already. This is not a good sign. And she's right over there. Okay, fine, fine. We're, we're kind of stuck between two very religious powerhouses. I'm sure this won't go wrong at all. This is the fun game that I was promised, right? After <laughs> the TSL game? Oh, Changukopter is pleased that my empire is far from his. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's totally how this is going to happen. <laughs> Totally how this is going to play out. Oh no. It's a lot of gold, but I'm thinking, hey, 140. What I might do, can I sell in my Diplo favorite? No, I can't sell any Diplo favorite at the moment. I could build the holy site on this because this is one of the cool things about the Tibetan holy site. Occupying units receive plus 10 defense strength. So I could use it as sort of an encampment and then save this for a preserve. That's what I want to do, but I need 140 gold to pull that off. So I'll put a few turns into a builder instead. Yeah, you're not going to like the fact that I've settled next to you here. This is 
gonna this is gonna ruin relations quickly. Oh, I've uh, lost my holy site immediately. That's not good. It's made some tiles better, I guess, but that's not a handy thing to happen. We've already got a rainforest that's breathtaking. Oh, that's cool. All right, well, we'll we'll keep an eye on that for later. One tile, two tiles, and then immediately put my district down. It says it's gonna take ten turns to finish that, but I hope that will speed up a little bit. Oh no, Stonehenge is finished and Catholicism. Oh, has taken choral music. Oh, I thought the game was gonna take my favorite away from me there. Oh, you know what I've got to do, especially on a game that rewards districts being built. You need pop, you need pop, you need all of this sort of stuff. It's gonna be glorious, don't worry. Singapore, and actually we're gonna discover someone new. Germany, what is it about Germany and ridge maps? Every time I play one, I seem to find Germany. Very strange, oh, Himiko. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, she would be a fantastic pickup for me. You know what, this isn't the sort of crazy mountain start that I was hoping for. There are mountains here, but we're gonna have to really dig in to find them. Crater Lake. Oh, I know what I've left on. Oh no, no I haven't. So I'm going absolutely mad. I was like, oh, Crater Lake isn't a wonder in Civ 6. Of course it is. <laughs> I'm just, oh, I just can't remember it. Right, we need one more era score in nine turns. How hard could that be? Ah, oh, please, please. There we go. We have the profit. Oh, but another one's just been taken. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. oh, for a second I thought I was gonna lose this religion, but no. Someone's taken a profit, but they didn't have time to put it down. Oh, thank goodness. Found the religion. And we immediately go to feed the world. I'm sorry. I mean, I could, this is the thing is, I could have gotten reliquaries and heroic relics and relics offering more from that that is quite good the feed the world will help me with my housing crisis especially because I'm not settling anywhere near fresh water because it's mountain passes and now we need to try and spread my religion around a little bit so I think I've got a choice either I go missionary zeal and make my religious units ignoring terrain which would be very useful or we go holy order and apostles and missionaries are 30% cheaper to produce I don't know which is the correct one here I think we'll go for that because then we'll be more tempted to spread my religion around. We have the golden age. Amazing. Excellent. We want the shrine up as soon as we can then, but I will get a monument first because there are some lovely heroes here. And I can pray the shrine in, in theory. So there is another option for me. Anyone want to buy Diplophervy? No. Tribal Village. 75 gold. Ooh, I like the idea of 75 gold. That's lovely. I think in this game, I want to focus a little bit on just raw faith generation. Anything that gives me faith. Holy sites, preserves, things that give breathtaking appeal. I just like the idea of making this number go as high as possible. I don't really have a strategy other than that. Just a like a crazy high faith game. Using that to help me with something else. Looks like Germany settled right into that mountain pass. That's fine. That's fine. If the map is a little bit busy, we'll we'll make do. We'll just continue exploring. Bronze working is going to be needed. I like iron, but I also like chopping rainforest down. It's not appealing at all. Boo. Got a bit of a choice here. Singapore means that if I sent a trade route from my capital to either Germany or India, I'd get two production. That's quite fun. But Kamasi means I'd get two culture and one gold. So what's more important, culture and gold or production? I'm tempted to believe I've, I've got a lot of production on this start, weirdly. The culture's a problem. So I'm actually gonna move Armani back over to Kamasi just to re-solidify that city-state. I think that works for me. Ooh, what a spicy start. Oh my lord, India with this much spice. That is a strong combination. Population growth, lots of food, housing from their unique district. Oh, I could get very messy very quickly. Okay, we've got a monument and we've got another holy site. So now I think I'm just going to go pure faith generation. So yeah, let's go void singers. Convert my monument over into an old god obelisk. That means that I'm now getting a beautiful four faith per turn. And how many turns have I got? Two turns. Can I pick Himiko up in this era? I'm going to miss it by one turn. <laughs> it's so annoying. Never mind. That's just a really good way of generating some envoys and a little bit of extra faith, which means that I can start praying in my shrines, which I should do very quickly now. Golden age time. A hero walks among us. It's beautiful. What are we going to do in this almighty, fantastic age? Normally, I would go monumentality, but I feel I'm going to use my faith to buy shrines. That's the problem. So what do I do with this now? <laughs> What's the best option? Do I go monumentality and then just hope? And I 
we're going to have enough excess faith afterwards or do we get exodus of the evangelists get four more faith per turn because don't forget the profit points will all convert into juicy extra faith seeing as i've already got a profit and then we can have more movement for missionaries hmm hmm indeed indeed i don't know i don't know what the best option is here i'm going to generate a lot of faith with himiko yeah let's go monumentality the the actual good thing about that is i can use my faith to produce traders oh there is a scout spotted oh, this slinger is manning the pass beautiful pass india haven't really made any moves towards me just yet i don't want to leave that pass open there's an archer by heavy chariot by oh one of the city states wanted a heavy chariot oh and one wanted an archer as well oh all right we'll keep an eye on that stuff we'll keep an eye on that stuff okay let's just buy the shrine with faith no what i'm going to do in my capital is build it out seeing as we've got 12 production here and then i will buy the shrine in my second city but this doesn't have my religion yet it will do soon actually if i let that city just avoid growing for a second it will convert before it gains the population oh this is clever right now here's the thing it's going to convert in six turns but grow in three we don't want it to grow so i'm actually going to avoid food for a second which is difficult because all the tiles around have too much food i can't do that damn <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was being so clever. Oh, uh, never mind. All right. Well, in that case, it makes sense to get the shrine. So my capital will grow out. That's fine. I'll get a builder instead. Jerusalem. Oh, this would spread my religion faster. But Theodora has converted and gained control of Jerusalem. I will keep an eye on that. Oh, man. If Arus decides to attack me, we're going to have a lot of problems. We might just like have a 300 moment in the mountains where I just have spearmen and they can't get through. That's what I'll try and do. But we'll see. Bronze working. Lots of iron around. Oh, yeah, huge amount of iron around me. Good to know. And Kamasi is just smashing these barbarians to bits. We like that. Okay, now, Himiko. I already have control of Kamasi, which is wonderful. So I'm going to get 75 bonus faith here. Bam, that takes me to 111. That means we can now buy a missionary, which is cheaper because of my religion. And I'll send it over and then I'll look to send over a settler. And then it looks like there's very little competition in this direction, over to the left. So this is the direction my settlers are going to go. Early Empire. I'm planning discipline. Plan. I don't think I want to change any of this up just yet. I'm going to put a few turns into drama and poetry. I don't want to waste the boost for craftsmanship, especially with a builder just around the corner, but it's uh, it's taking its sweet time. Okay, now I did get the second population there. That's a little bit annoying, but it still converts in three turns. Oh man. You see, what I was afraid is that India or Germany were going to send religion down before I could do anything. Germany has one. Unmet. 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 India doesn't have a religion yet. Oh, maybe they're going to play India like they should do. You don't go for a religion at all. All. that's the clever play for india Let's see if that works another 75 beautiful and i think i want to actually settle a spam so i'm gonna go magnus before pingala this game which makes me slightly nervous but i've got a lot of rainforest i could cut out if i needed to now i've got six charges left with himiko what is more important generating a lot of faith and then producing a huge a huge amount of faith uh, for settlers and builders and things like that or do i run over and try and steal jerusalem to exert more pressure and to make my shrines and temples better i think i want the faith right now so let's keep throwing this into kamasi this is not the most efficient way of gaining control over everyone but it is a good way of doing things i'm just going to pick up this farm quickly because that gives me irrigation because i'd loaded up that boost oh, i really want to stick a preserve down here but <laughs> I don't know what's over that mountain range. That's the most frustrating thing. Oh, man. I'm going to have to make another slinger quickly because this uh, scout won't go anywhere. And it's very frustrating. Here's another shrine. It's not giving me any feed the world just yet. But don't worry. The missionary is on the way. I have my first trader up now. And the route to Kamasi is a good one because it gives me three extra culture. Seeing as I'm only getting 6.3 per turn. That's a nice boost. Excellent. Still getting in, boys. It's also a nice route because it puts a nice road down. That is, it just makes my life a little bit easier easier navigating around and bam i have housing in this city now oh it's not much but it's some housing right let's see if this works i want to make sure that the culture overflow from finishing craftsmanship gets put on state workforce so currently it's saying three turns and we've got 27 out of 56 now i'm going to move back to craftsmanship move my builder over to the plantation finish it and hopefully the overflow is now going to apply to state workforce we'll see if this works properly but i'm hoping it should also i can sell my coffee yeah 
Yay, look, coffee, helping us Orion. Who'd have thought that that was a thing? Haha. -ha. Well, seeing as India doesn't have a religion, I'm actually going to send my missionary out because don't forget, I get great writer points whenever a religious unit expends a charge outside friendly territory. I'll do it. Seems like a cool thing to do. Another city state. Oh, this one's not been taken either. Okay, Armani, you never drill. Kamasi has a bunch of envoys now. We don't need to worry about that anymore. Brazil. Okay, this is good. Somebody should be generating a lot of writer points. We want all the writers to be taken. I don't mind if I then have to buy the books from other people. As long as they've been earned, that's the main thing. Hey, Byzantium's finally buying the Diplo favor. Amazing. I think I'm going to chop out an old god obelisk. Yes, chopping down the rainforest to summon an elder god. It seems like the sensible play. Oh, it worked. Yeah, the overflow just moved through and we just gained more than one turn that last turn. So that's awesome. Right, Himiko, last charge on Kamasi. I think that's a good use of all of this extra faith. That's brilliant. And I could sacrifice Himiko immediately and take the relic. That would be worth more faith. But I think I'm going to use her as a scout and send her over to the left. Discover as much of this map as I can. In fact, actually, she's a really good person to discover as much of this mountain range as possible. Zviden, hello. Honored to meet you. You like books as well. Oh my goodness, the amount of people that like books. This is a good book day. Brazil's already on 5.7 points. This is going to be fine. Magnus now has provision. Let's start to pick up things like settlers. Lovely. Okay, I'm putting a campus down here because it's really good and it'll spread science over this mountain range. And then I'm going to put a government plaza down to give myself three builders. That's my aim anyway, when I put these cities down. Why not? That, that should be fine. And in my second city, oh, I'll chop that forest out and plop a preserve straight down and see if we can scoop up all this mountain. Make a beautiful paradise out of this area. That'll be lovely. And just because we want all of our cities in the mountains doesn't mean they all have to be in the mountains. I'm just thinking about this. I could settle down to the south, pick up all of this salt and iron and horse. Wouldn't be a bad idea, you know. Yeah, maybe that's what I should do. Mm, I'll keep moving in this direction for now. I've got one slinger escorting what can only be described as a massive chain train of settlers. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. So we've picked up masonry. Construction is the one I'm really looking forward to. I would love a water mill. Not a water mill. Sorry, I would love a lumber mill. That's what I would like. So we'll work on wheel a little bit, then horseback riding. We've got some resources that I can throw a builder towards. Four settlers now. That's all of my resources used by all of my faith, all of my gold. Pretty much spent. Let's hope this is worth it. And how many writer points am I going to get here? I don't think it's going to be many. I need 60 to get a writer. Bam. How many was that? Five? Five. Yeah, okay. It's it's not mind-bending, but it's it's useful. Political philosophy. What do I want to do? Wonders? I, I, I very rarely take autocracy. It's just it's just a bit rubbish is the problem. Plus one to all yields for each government plaza building, diplomatic quarter building, or palace. So currently my capital would get one of everything. Oligarchy is really good if you're fighting, but not other effects. I always go classical republic. I, I always feel like I'm maybe not being particularly original, but I mean, it's the best <laughs> by far. So what can you do? Diplomatic league. Great. Scientist points are being earned and I guess there is some time to earn some scientists so maybe I put inspiration in. Diplomatic league now. I'll go charismatic leader for now. Urban planning and land surveyors. People say that this card is really good. I never really put it in because I try not to buy too many tiles with gold. So although you do save some gold, I find you end up losing more because you end up spending it because it's discounted. Does, does that make sense? You're tempted to sort of look at it more and go, oh, discounts. Like, like, hey, let's let's spend rather than, you know, looking at it sensibly and going, oh, maybe I shouldn't be spending all of this. I don't know. Oh, actually, I'll go and settle that place quickly. Drama and poetry now. And as soon as we can unlock theology, we can get temples and I'll feel a lot better about things. I would also love it if I could put an envoy into Jerusalem. What was their quest? Doesn't exist. They have no quest. Oh, it's because I already have an envoy with them. Ah, uh, okay. That's probably not as optimized as I would like it, but never mind. Mumbai, follow my religion. It's great. You know it's great. It's wonderful. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah, let's chop this out. Get to seven pop. I can chop out that quickly. Let's get the government plaza down as soon as I can. I'll put a turn into a library. It's not the best building for me, but it'll do. And I'm thinking about where I want to settle. On top of that wine is brilliant. And I think I'm going to settle on top of that cattle as well. These are the two places we're going to go. I'm going to settle on top of that salt and over on this tile over in this direction. Yeah. Oh, there's an eruption again, which is really annoying. Ah, oh, fine. I'll fix the shrine with my chopped production. That feels like a really good thing to do. <laughs> 
<laughs> Government Plaza time. Move off wheel, go back to horseback riding, keep moving my saddlers around. This is just a sort of really weird point of the game where I just feel like I'm going very slowly, but in a second I'm just going to go mad and everything will settle down. But India wants to be a friend. I'm going to accept that deal because then it means I'm not going to get invaded via this terrifying little pass, which, which makes me feel a little better about things. It means later I can actually move things through their land. Boulevard. Hello, Grand Columbia. I'd love to sample your hospitality. So lovely. Oh, so sweet. A religion. Boo. Don't want to sample that at all. That sucks. Made friends with Boulevard immediately though. So I guess that's good. In fact, actually, people are being generally very nice to me. Brazil. Send you a delegation and I'll trade open borders with you and we might be able to convince you to be friends with me as well. What about Sweden? No, they don't want petty trifles, but will you take open borders? I bet you will. Brazil has gone to war with a city-state. Slightly annoying. I just need to send an envoy there and I was going to suzerain them. What do they need before they die? A trade route. You're ages away. That is not going to happen. Here is iron working, which gives me real delicious. Now, here's the thing. This is the test. It says that I can use my faith to build in specialty districts, but does the government plaza count as a special district? I can never remember this. It does. So I can just buy in an ancestral hall with faith. Oh, that's quite fun. How many turns would it be? Eight turns of production. And annoyingly, about five turns of faith. <laughs> it's so close. I think I'm just going to build it, but that is relatively amusing. Yeah, let's get the settlers and then I'll, I'll chop this out because I can just get a builder cheaper. Yeah, okay. That's that's a good way of putting it, but oh, we're going to get six cities soon. One, two, three, four. My empire's going to look beautiful. I'm waiting with this settler to get the free builder. Is it worth it? Probably not, but I'm going to just continue waiting because I know if I don't, I will annoy myself. Oh, another wonder. No, so many wonders in this land. So many wonders to see. And France. Yes, is that everyone? Have I met everyone? I am the first to meet everybody. Lovely. Wait for this preserve. Wait for it. Bam. So this is the faith. One is from breathtaking and then one is from this holy sign. And you can actually for the first time see because this is the first mountain tiles I've actually started working in my empire. Two faith, two faith. So, so really these mountains are useless at the moment but this one has two food because it's near my capital. I don't forget we've got the grove as an option. 300 faith or 600 gold. I think I'll just try and work it but almost at theology now. Almost. Come on. I'll scrap that. Just selling my diplo favor. I managed to just about get to the grove. Bam. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Look, look at this. If I just recycle and change around the tiles. Oh, that's so much more faith and culture and food. This tile's really good. Yeah, we need more preserves. We need more preserves. Let's do a little bit of buying so I can do a little bit of chip chop. Three turns. Oh, my settlers. They are all ready. There is no need to be waiting so long. I'm just, I'm just absolutely hooked on the idea of getting three builders. It's totally pointless, but what can you do? Actually, I'm gonna just get myself a missionary as well and start sending it over. I want to spread my religion around. Theology! Temples! Lovely! 190 faith for a temple. That's something we want to do really quite quickly. Scripture! Actually, Lance of Ares was pretty useful. Yeah, I do, I do quite like that card. Fine! I'll put that card in, but up to 61 faith per turn now. And again, faith is everything for me this run, so I'm gonna put two envoys into Jerusalem. Oh, no, that will give me temples, but I don't need that just yet. Right, hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on. Let me just, let me just, hang on a second, everyone. This gives me access to this city-state, which lets me see more of the map. Perfect. And then Johannesburg is up next. We'll put one envoy in there, and then Armani. Off you go. Continue the tour. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Not of the fact that Sweden is offering me funny Swedish treats. No, not at all. Not even of the fact that Byzantium is offering to buy my iron. That is quite an intriguing offer. No, it's the fact that the ancestral hall is now ready to go. And bam, it's done. Oh, thank goodness. Should we make some cities now? Let's make some cities. City number one. City number two. City number three. And of course, last but not least, although it probably is least, city number four. Oh, that's a very thick mountain range. I was really hoping there'd be a small gap here for preserve, but never mind. So we've got all the builders now. We've got a lot of cities. It's made my empire a little bit unhappy. Maybe someone can trade. No, there's no luxuries for me, unfortunately, but maybe we can fix that in a bit. Oh, having Sweden in the game is so good. Just buying all my Diplo favor up because Sweden really likes that Diplo favor. There's a luxury to France as well. Okay, this is what I mean again. We've got that option between putting a holy site and a preserve down. Oh, why do you tease me so, game? <laughs> why do you tease me so? It's gonna move Magnus across, actually. Let's send you over to the far side of my empire so I can start spawning settlers in that direction. And now I can pick up Pingala in my beautiful eight population capital. Yes, this is lovely. 
go for Connoisseur as well. We'll get Moksha in pretty soon, but no need to rush Moksha. And here's the Faith Purchase on the Temple. Old God Obelisks are a priority. As soon as I can buy one, build one. It's more faith, it's more culture, it's everything. A growing city needs is wonderful. He's got some salt in. He's selling his luxuries to the French. French wants wine, Sweden wants salt. That feels about right, and we've even got iron to sell now. Oh my god, the turn's looking really nice. Source of horse gives me horseback riding. Delicious. And now it's construction, which I'm kind of just, it's holding back a lot of stuff at the moment. I was hoping to get to 100 faith by turn 100. It's, it's not as useful as, say, 100 science or 100 culture, but it's at least something. I don't really know if we're going to do it at the moment. We're, we're giving it a good crack. More temples as well. Yeah, actually, this is working well. So next era is the medieval era, and at that point, we will be able to go chorus, which starts to turn my faith into gold and science and culture and compliments from parental figures. It might, no, hang on, no, it doesn't do that. But it gives me gold, science, and culture, and that's what's important. And that's a, that's a whole other secret society. Beowulf. That's such a cool hero. I like Beowulf. Watermill. There you go. There's construction boost. I'm looking forward to having lumber mills. That'll be awesome. Now, as my cities get around to putting down my unique holy site, I just make sure the production queue is empty. That means when I chop it out, that production overflows and gets put down directly into the district like that. Which is wonderful. I'm just waiting in this city for Magnus to establish and then I'll get a 50% bonus on that chop, which will be great. I decided to take slightly worse holy sites in order to get the preserves but I mean I could have got the extra governors I could kind of like the idea of getting extra governors and it also sets me up a little bit later down the line for where is it enlightenment no where is it simultaneum which would have been really handy actually thinking about it but, but never mind sometimes you can't have everything you know you've got to just take an option and, and run with it and that's that's what we're doing today another job another holy site defensive tactics excellent now we can go for researcher with pink Gala, lovely stuff. Just chopped out another holy site. So again, my faith purchasing continues and we're going for shrines. Ugh, this is where monumentality is sort of falling down a little bit because I've got so many things that I'm using my faith on. I don't know if that's what I'm going to be doing next time around with monumentality. Maybe we'll do something different. Assuming we can get a golden age. That, that is a very valid consideration. I haven't really expanded enough to guarantee that I'm going to go into one, you know? How many cities has everybody got? Six cities? Five. Six. Five. Six, four, five. You know, we've done okay. How much faith do we need for a settler? Quite a bit. Okay, right. So we could, in theory, try and go for Sprawling Empire, which would probably take about three cities. That's quite difficult. And at the moment, I'm trying to use Himiko to explore around the world, but there are so many barbarians. I have a feeling I'm going to get caught anytime soon. My capital could build a wonder, Hanging Gardens. It wouldn't be a bad thing to do, to be honest. Yeah, we're going to try. We're going to just try. I'm going to try and get as many Europe score as I can. So Hanging Gardens is one. We can get the galley, which would be another. Maybe I can levy a city-state. That wouldn't be too bad an option. Let's try and get this galley built out here. Yeah, this might be tricky, but at least I can avoid a dark age. Fountain of Youth. Hey, that's unexpected era score. This is the sort of thing that serves me well. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Debel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixomatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears, I Love You Tombo, Flying Dutch Burbs, thank you everyone for your support, see you all in the next video, goodbye!